what's going on everyone so we're back in Medellin and today I'm gonna do a vlog style video uh, we're actually gonna go see the house that we just bought about a month ago we're starting the rental process and meeting with designers architects there to start the process yeah it'll be vlog style video show you some of Medellin life in Medellin we got a Airbnb here in in Medellin we were in Guatape for a month and then we got this Airbnb I'll show you quick here the Airbnb that we got this is for a month uh, over there is Poblado and Legado. Uh, so we're actually in Tabaneta. Got a little bit of a not as nice of a view of the, the barrio. The main reason I got this place is because it's quiet. It's on a dead end street. Uh, as you can see back there, there's there's no road back there. That's the most important thing that I look for when I look for an Airbnb or apartment. Uh, especially Medellin, it gets extremely, extremely noisy. Uh, you know, the construction, all the walls are made of like like paper. And then most apartment buildings, you know, there's like streets right next to it. So you get all the noise of the cars, the motos, the horns, everything. So yeah, this is a little bit further out. Usually we stay in Poblado and Vigado. Last time we were in San Lucas. But yeah, we got this place like last minute, the day of. Uh, but it's actually a really good deal. I'll show you quick the, the apartment. It's, it was $1,700 for, for a month and it's kind of almost like a, a pet house. So here's where the, the balcony starts have some workout equipment but I don't use this because it I mean what are you gonna do with this um, over here it's nice you got a nice nice little seating area and this is right off of the master bedroom so you got master with in suite bathroom walk-in closet and yeah this is pretty nice to wake up to in the morning this view and balcony and then yeah it's a duplex so we got the, the office here, cool little glass down there. You can see people down there. And we'll go downstairs. Hola. Hello. <laughs> Louisa. And then here's the living room, another small little balcony over here. Dining table, kitchen. And then you got two more bedrooms back here. So it's pretty spacious actually for a. Uh, apartment it's like 150 square meters which yeah. which is pretty pretty big and good price mm -hmm. yeah we're really happy with all the the space yeah. because sometimes with airbnb you don't know yeah and that is quiet okay. that is quiet that's the main thing oh yeah definitely. yeah okay yeah so now we're gonna go to the house meet with the uh, architects and designer we'll show you the the new property see what we're gonna show you what we're gonna do with it and yeah see you there a beautiful day Hey, but extremely dangerous driving. <laughs> yeah, look at this. So, uh, like always, traffic is on this side backed up forever. And coming up here, it's going to be backed up because it's 8 a.m. But, I mean, it's almost always like this. Yeah. And not only is traffic bad, but people drive like crazy people here. It's <laughs> like I go out, any time that I go out to drive, uh, like I almost kill someone on a moto. Or if I take the moto out, I almost get killed. It's so bad. <laughs> that is one good thing about having motos that you can cut through all the traffic pretty much. But it's also extremely dangerous. Over here is Viva. This is like the biggest mall, I think, in all of Latin America or just Colombia. I think South America. Actually. Yeah, I think all of South America. This is the biggest mall. Okay, we had to make a pit stop. Luis is getting her passport done, so now we're like in the center of the city. So this is in the center of the city. This is where like all the government buildings are. Pretty modern new new buildings. One thing that I love about Medellin is how they're able to integrate like green and it's like a jungle basically mixed in with modern city. Check out all this greenery over here. So you have modern buildings. Uh, I mean, these are more modern than what you find in like Poblado. Uh, because these are like government buildings. For a lot of you find a lot of like brick buildings. But yeah, just how they mix in all this nature, palm trees, you feel like you're in a tropical jungle while you're in a big city. And again, this is in towards Centro. Obviously, this is a nice part of Centro for sure because uh, the other part of Centro is, yeah, not nearly as nice and more chaotic. Yeah, nice, beautiful, sunny day. As Louisa was saying, it's been a lot warmer than normal, like um, 80 to almost 85 during the day, which normally is around 75 for high. 
Yeah, this is beautiful green Medellin city built in a jungle basically. So passport done, now we can go to Argentina because we're going to go to Argentina in oh, yeah. uh, three weeks. So she had to get her passport and actually it only takes four days here. Yeah, in uh, Medellin. Which is crazy, like in the US I did mine and it took like three months. Okay, so we arrived to the house. We're going to have a quick meeting with designer and architects. Uh, kind of like a quick tour and also how much we bought it for and yeah, some of the numbers of the, the house. So when you look at the back, you will see the back of the kitchen, the island, but everything open with like a huge glass door. And also all these feels like one large space. And because it's many rooms, sometimes people like to be gathered in different living rooms. So two guys are here with their girlfriends, or other people are here, you know, so they have different areas they can gather. The idea is that it's kind of part of the pool. So it doesn't feel like a pool, and the pool is what it feels like a big area. Someday you will see what you left behind is what you So we just finished meeting with the designer and architect. I think we were here for about two hours. Now we're going to give a quick tour of the house, and I can talk a little about the numbers too, like how much we spent and how much we're looking at spending. Okay, yeah, so the main part of the house that we love the most, or we bought this house, is this outside area. It's really big. Also, what we're gonna do is, this whole wall that you see is gonna be pretty much all glass. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be even bigger, feel more open. So up here, we're thinking pool, up here. Mm -hmm. And maybe do like a infinity pool. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We still gotta plan like budget, how much we're gonna spend on the pool. Down here, jacuzzi. Here, thinking sauna and Durko. And maybe like a shower right here. Mm -hmm. I know it's kind of hard to imagine everything because it's, right now it's like not in that great shape or it's not in bad shape, but definitely it's gonna be a pretty big transformation. I think it's gonna take about three months. Is what she was saying? Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, basically. All of this wall is going to be like open, so it's going to like open into the uh, outside area. Like these, these bottom floor, it's going to be like the social area, and that's yeah, where we're going to focus. So it's going to be over here some some lounge seating. We're going to have a roof going out there, so like mm -hmm. people can sit outside. And then you go to the pool, jacuzzi, turco, mm -hmm. sauna. These are going to be uh, glass. A pool plunge. I know we'll see with the final. <laughs> Much of this. Uh, they're thinking probably around 800 million peso for everything, mm -hmm. is what they told us. Uh, which is about 200k. Which I don't think is that bad when you think we're totally redoing everything. Putting a pool, jacuzzi, sound of turco, bunch of stuff. New we're rooms. New walls, new rooms, new bathrooms. So I don't think that's too bad. Uh, we bought the house for about 400,000, 410,000 dollars. Which was a great deal because- Which actually was a good deal. Because anymore now in Poblado, mm -hmm. you buy an apartment, uh, two, 300K yeah. for like a two or three bedroom apartment. Yeah, we can do a podcast uh, talking about like yeah. all of the details of purchasing. Yeah, all the details, everything about the, the purchase. But yeah, I don't think 410K is too bad. We do have to pay cash because we're probably we can't. Still can't get along. And even if, even if we did, it's like 15%, so it doesn't make sense. So, with everything, I think about 600k. Mm -hmm. I hope we don't go too too much over budget. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the, the video in three months I'll be crying with how much it costs. Come back for the update. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but yeah, all of this is gonna be completely new. Like all of this, all of that over there is gonna be glass. Now we're making a pit stop for lunch in Amsterdam. Plaza will show you this plaza. It's super nice. It's like even nicer than the city. Yeah. I love this mall. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's nicer than Tosoro. It's way smaller, but like it's newer. The yeah. But it feels really exclusive. So they have all different kinds of restaurants. But yeah, super modern, super nice. And this one is our favorite 
crepes and waffles, but it's the artisanal one. Yeah. And it's really good, really affordable. We'll show you the price and the food. Mm -hmm. We're at crepes and waffles, but this is artisano. Mm -hmm. Got it starting off with a salad. You can build it up, and this is like six dollars. Yeah, six dollars. Yeah, it's like it's there's like a lot of healthy things. So, this is what we got crepe and uh, waffle with avocado. Waffle. Yeah, and this was trucha. seven dollars. This was nine dollars with beef. Okay, so we made it back to the apartment. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, that vlog style video showing you some different parts of Medellin. And yeah, it's kind of like a day in my life. Uh, in another video, I'm gonna talk more about the numbers, how much I'm projecting to, to make from the house and how I plan to make back the entire cost of the house plus renovation, so about 600K. I expect to do that in best case scenario, two years, worst case, I have it at four years. You probably think that I'm crazy or like exaggerating with, with that amount because I will put it at over 300K per year in annual, annual revenue. Uh, but you know, a lot of people thought that I was crazy when I said that I was expecting the nine bedroom that we have in Jettis to make over 300K annually and that's the top grossing Airbnb in all of Medellin. My Airbnb rep told me that. So yeah, I mean, that's not to brag, but you know, what's the point of a video talking about like property and all that stuff? without actually talking about the, the numbers and the financials of the project. And also, you know, why I choose to invest in Medellin and Colombia. A lot of people think I'm crazy for like, you know, investing in a third world country, country that's quote unquote dangerous. Uh, but I do it because I, you know, see a lot of opportunity here. And I think that's proof in, you know, how much we can generate uh, from our property. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up here. Uh, yeah, we'll do more like updates of the, the process as it's going along. Like I said, it's gonna probably take at least three months. I hope we can get it you know, down to three months, but um, you know what, it surprised me if it takes more, like you know, four months. Thanks for watching this video. I think I'm gonna go hit the pool. We actually have a pool here also at this apartment I didn't show. Uh, it's down over here. You probably, you can't see it from here. But yeah, this apartment is not bad at all. $1,700 for a place, you know, Penthouse, this is on top floor. Nice balcony, pool. Uh, yeah, $700 is not bad at all. So yeah, I'm gonna go hit the pool. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.